Yes, sir, man. Fee, love, and chocolate. The podcast. Rip, thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in, you know. And we back. And we back. Nah, nah, nah. But anyway, we're getting right into it, you know. No bloopers this episode because we're getting right into it. What's going on? It's James the Trendsetter, a.k.a. Feet. And you're, of course, listening to the Feet, Love, and Chocolate podcast because what else would you be listening to? Duh. To the left of me, I got... Love is in the building. Um, as per usual, you know. Um, happy holidays to all. Um, who else we got in the building, man? To the left of me. Chocolate, you already know what's up, man. It's me, it's us, it's them, it's we. And he feel that shit, nigga doo doo so and shit. You gotta run it back? Nah, nah, we no, good, though. Hey, yo, and just like that, we getting right back into it. What's going on? I'm just kidding. 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 We're not keeping that? No, we are. We are. You fuck up? We are keeping it. All right. Yeah. How was niggas just, just so niggas know that shit was not scripted. I just, you know, we real raw with it. So we, we real raw with it. We real raw, raw with it. We real raw with it. No? Okay. Anywho, back to the topic on hand. Happy holidays happy to all. Um, happy Kwanzaa. Happy, um, happy New Year. Uh, Merry Christmas. Hanukkah, right? Happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Um, we said Kwanzaa. Already said Kwanzaa. My fault. Um, Happy um, Independence Day for other people in other countries, you know. Um, is is it Independence Day like this? I, pr- probably for another country. Somebody somebody got free today, you know, mm. or last week, you know. Got to be. Some people getting free every day. Um, you know. Good joy, good wishes to everyone. You know, if you're watching this, hope you got what you wanted. Hope you got good health, good strength. Um, ate some good food and uh, just overall just having a good day, man, you know. Hope you got what you needed as well. True, type true, shit, true, type true, shit. true, true. But what we get into, y'all? How, how y'all been, man? How was your holidays? Holidays? Um, it was good. You know, I had the fam over on Christmas Eve. Nice to see everybody. Got to meet my brother's girlfriend. You know, don't approve. Anyways, um, no, I'm just kidding. 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 Uh, she's nice. Yeah, she's cool. She can hang. Um, got to see my brother for the first time in two years. It was good to, like, you know, reconnect. Uh, got to see everybody. It was, you know, it's, it's always good vibes when you get... I don't know. It's just Christmas. Like, it's just... I don't really like getting like I don't have a treat. Mood. Yeah, like it just like the vibe is just like oh like we're all having fun. I don't like I don't get that vibe for Thanksgiving. I just only get it for like Christmas Eve. But Christmas Eves and my family are notorious because that's when like the one year because my family's so big and everybody's like married and stuff. So like we do Christmas Eve at one place and then they do Christmas Day at like the in laws and stuff. Damn, it's a lot of traveling. Mark. I guess, but yeah, so I did that and then Christmas Day, you know, I just stayed home, chilled with my mom. And then I drunk. I drunk. I watched, don't drink alcohol. I drunk. I watched The Grinch. A Christmas story, but mm. yeah, that's all I really did for the whole the whole Christmas debacle and stuff. Here I am. Other than that, you know, I went to work. The snow, the snow though for Friday, I had to I miss work. One day. Christmas miracle, right? You know. No, I really wanted to go to work. Like I was already like awake, but oh, so you didn't go? Nah, because so my sister lives halfway between my job and me, so I'm just like driving to work. I'm on the highway. And it's like really coming down. And like, but I didn't. I didn't know how serious it was, cause like I'm driving, but like I'm not sliding or nothing. But like, the, it's like it's literally just white. So I'm like, all right, all right. I think I can make it to work. So I call my friend. I'm like, yo, like, are you going to work? He's like, yeah, I just put my boots on. I'm about to leave. I'm like, all right, yeah, just drive safe. Boom, boom. And then he calls me like ten minutes later. Like, nah, I just slid. I'm not going. I'm like, all right. And then as soon as like I hang up, like everything just got like like it was like fog and like heavy ass snow coming down at the same time. And like there was like literally like. Like, it was, like, a row of us. Like, there was, like, four of the cars in front of me just driving mad slow. Like, literally, like, in the middle of the highway. Just, like, mm. fuck it. Like, we, we can't see shit. Like, this is just... This is the new lane. So, I was like, nah, fuck that. So, then I pulled off at Wind Gap. Called my sister. Yo, can I come over and just sleep till all this is over? She's like, yeah. So, then I did that. And I just missed work. So, I had a three-day weekend, which is, like, amazing. Surprisingly, yeah. Yeah. What's your job say? What are they going to say? Like... <laughs> I like that, you know what I mean? They ain't tripping over it. They say, like, hey, take some time, stay with your family. We care more about your health than this actual well, patient. Well, answer when I like, called out. But oh, so I mean, it's Christmas it Miracle. Is. Christmas Miracle that Part 2. It's not your fault. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. at all. But I mean, I got a three-day weekend, which is so crazy. It's like real, real life for Christmas Miracles because, you know, I've been working six days a week since like the week before Thanksgiving. Yeah. But I get another one. I didn't know i get off. I didn't know like the first day of the year was like a holiday. So I have off... Um, this Saturday too, so it's like crazy. You, you didn't know? you didn't know Christmas or you didn't know New Year's Eve or New Year's was a holiday. Why is New Year's a holiday though? Because is it not New Year's? It's a, 
they don't have a holiday for like the new month like so it's like but it's new year's though like that's like that's literally the holiday like new year's eve i thought but I, like i didn't know new year's was like a national holiday though like, how did you not like to where like niggas have off work like i didn't think it was like they have they have, they have a holiday a couple first months uh april 1st man that's about to be a national holiday you know what i mean shout, shout out to my april fools is out there you feel me you know what i mean Sersky. no 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 that's no but um God, yeah new year's i didn't know so you know still getting blessings you know but yeah that's other than that you know real real basic simple man stuff mm. how about y'all well sean um me overall now normally we don't go nowhere for like the the holidays as in like christmas or like christmas eve you know but um my mom wanted to do something like big as in more than she normally does for christmas so decorations went up you feel me had like the lights inside the house you know um decided to try to do like two different uh trees like instead of one you know up the game real christmas spirit you know what i mean just just have it flowing you know um made food ate, ate good um had people over um had, had the grill the real Christmas experience, you know, had the, the matching PJs, taking group photos. It was nice, man. It was nice, you know. Um, that was Christmas Eve. And then um, Christmas Day, I went over to my girlfriend's house, um, watched some movies, played some games. Um, overall, I just enjoyed it, you know. Didn't do too much. Just relaxing and, you know what I mean? Just having, having, having a good time, you know. This is up as yeah. you should. Well, solid, a real <laughs> traditional ass Christmas. I guess you know, like open gifts, chill out, <coughs> do nothing. You know, watch movies. You know, respectable. What about you, man? A uh, real regular daggler. I mean, Christmas Eve. I I hate the fact that I went down to New York to come back up the same day. Like that's real ugly. What part of New York? Queens. Okay, that's like a two hour drive. Still, it's still a drive. I get it. Like that's OD. So niggas just went down to New York. What we got there at like three. A.M.? No, 3.30 p.m. And we had to leave 1 o'clock in the morning. Because my mom had to work the next day. Hmm. Told her, like, bring your own whip. Because oh. I'm not trying to come back up <laughs> the same day. But regardless, we're going to come back up. I mean, the time there was fun, though. Saw our cousins, family, and all that. It was at dinner and shit. Came back up for Christmas. Didn't do much. Stayed in the crib. Slept. Blah, blah, blah. Like I said, niggas wasn't really feeling festive and shit like that. It is what it is. Um... A regular deck what i do want to say which i say this like every year but i love when pe- i love the people who decorate their house for christmas because driving around and shit that's just like a real pleasant like, thing to see yeah like it really it's a good mood brightener i was about to ask is that like does it make yeah. you feel better yeah i'm like look because like you say if you don't feel that if you don't feel a way but seeing that type of shit is like at least niggas there's still joy, care. There's joy in the world. Yeah, some yeah, niggas care and shit like that. When I'm talking about the deck. I'm talking about the lights all over the house. They got the blow up the, shit. Yeah, the big ass snowman. Bro, it's like the yeah, yo, Santa Claus on the roof. Damn. Imagine, but shit like that. I think when I grow up, I'm, I gotta do that. Or I mean, you could pay somebody else to do it for you if you want. I mean, I know somebody is doing uh, Christmas decorations on a low. So if you ain't got lights, little little decorations outside. Hey, hit the jack, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll get you connected. And I'm talking the real shit. I'm not talking about that fake projecting light shit. And that shit is so doo doo. <laughs> like, we you wanna have, have one. You want to have the Gatling gun, like in the Grinch, like um, Shorty's mom had, where she was shooting the lights up? And it's just, yeah, yeah, some shit like that. But the projecting lights, that shit's ass. Like, we have it. Yo, just turn it off. It's not even <laughs> worth it. Like, it's really not even worth it. Just turn it off. I mean, A for as- like, effort, you know? What if, it, what if it's like a projector and it has like a, a Christmas movie playing, you know? On the house, yeah, you know. That's yeah. See, the see, it might. I mean, what are they gonna do? Stand outside? Just watch that. Like, oh my <laughs> god, they're watching Imagine Home Alone. Like, like a built-in drive-in theater, like just, just you know what I mean. See, it could be. Nah. You could make it real festive. I mean, I mean, I don't know, but yeah, the niggas who really decorate and shit like that, like that's really, I appreciate that for real. That's what I want to go next year. I want to go. You know how? What's that shit in PA? The driving shit. The driving. The Christmas lights whatever the fuck that is yeah, yeah, yeah i would love to go i went last year it was nice i kind of just want to see it to see it it's better if you go with somebody that's like a matter. little that's like a date type thing i don't give a fuck i'm trying to go with the niggas oh hey, yo <laughs> get lit and oh. shit car full of niggas bumping music and shit <laughs> lit. looking at christmas lights that's a yeah. vibe but i respect it yeah i wouldn't mind going alone either i don't mind doing anything alone so i mean but yeah yeah i, I, I regularly huh? popular loner 
popular loner. Yeah. Where does the popular come in at? What you mean? What do you mean popular loner? What does that mean? Am I law? Am I saying something wrong? I'm asking. Uh, the, I think you, he's calling you popular. Popular loner? No. I don't know where the popular part comes in. Do you, you wouldn't say you're popular? Huh. I know you are though. Yeah, we're. Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Sean wasn't popular in high school. Sean was popular. Question to everybody who knows Sean. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, like I still tell everybody that like I was cool to everybody, you know. So I don't think I don't think I, I had enemies or people that didn't like me. I just like I just got along with everybody, you know. So it's like you know. Yeah, it's popular. It's popular. That's popular though. Like, you, you, is you, it? Is it? I think. I think. I think. I, uh, I don't know. It's like borderline, I guess. It's like iffy. But on, the, <laughs> but on the other side, on the popular side of the line. Ain't nothing wrong with being popular. Niggas not saying you was like bullying niggas, shoving niggas in lockers, yeah, giving like, wedgies, <laughs> like, give me your lunch money. <laughs> like, but it, it's just a negative connotation with popular people, though, or but popular kids. But we're telling kids. you that there's no, like, you, just, you were just known. Like, no, you was a good popular. Yeah, you was a real cool nigga. You was in Hollywood. You showed love to everybody, you know? As you should, man. I think it's just an example for everybody, you know? Show love to everybody. Give everybody the same. other popular niggas is not cool. What you mean? There's some other popular niggas. The niggas that were like Hollywood cool and, and like mad weird, yeah. Exactly. That's that's why there's a negative connotation with it because there's some people that you're just, there to break that connotation. Exactly, because there's just people that just cared about being popular though. Like there was niggas that just wanted to be with the clout like, demons, with the, the crowd, <laughs> I guess. Like niggas willing to sell their soul to be in the fit in type shit. And it's like, for what, my nigga? You look crazy. You look silly. Like these niggas don't even fuck with you. Like you're so crazy because I was like not like that at all. Like, it's, like, the way, like, like, I really didn't give a fuck, like, the way I, like, came off in, like, high school. Especially, like, early on. Like, I, I used to, like, just... Like, Your full self? 100%? Well, yeah, I was, like... Before? Well, you should. Before? Not my full self, Yeah, I was about obviously. to say, because before, was you, was, you not, uh, was you not straight in high school? I wasn't straight ever, but in the closet, yeah, but... Uh. But like I like I used to like I used to, I, I don't get haircuts because I'm not in a routine of like having like I don't feel the need to have a crisp lineup. Oh, so niggas get haircuts that have to be popular. But yeah, what? No, what's no, 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 what's no, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying like it's I just, never. That's you being yourself. Yeah, like yeah. I never really cared like how I, like I appeared when I went to school or like whenever. Mm. Like I used to like shave. I used to do like at home haircuts, but I didn't know how to like do it. So I used to like seizure my shit. Like I used to shave my shit down. Mm. And just let it rock, like no lineup or nothing. Just straight mm. up bald my shit. Not bald it, but pretty low. But yeah, so I was just living life. It's just like fucking crazy. Like I, I was like, Jay, you can't. He was popular with the bitches, man. Jay, Jay was popular with the bitches, man. I remember that. Don't do that. Don't do that. James, James was popular with the bitches. I don't remember seeing James like that in high school. Like I remember seeing James, but it's like I, I was, I never seen him around, like hanging around type shit. I be, we, me and James had classes. I don't think he remembers that though. Never had class. Yeah, public speaking. Yeah. Yeah, never had class with James. I want to say I was popular with the bitches. I always had like a. He significant a, female friend. He always had a. He always had one on him. Always had one. On him. <laughs> <laughs> always had one on him, man. But um, yeah, that was just like, I didn't care. But I don't. I remember seeing. I don't remember seeing Rashad either. I think Rashad was like quiet as fuck. Or we were like, you were like too smart for me to be in the same classes with you. But no, oh, brain, I, brainy, I, brainy, I, I, never brainy took, I, I never took one class. I only took like one class. Good I'm dead ass. Well, so like, there's like the tiers. And a, shit, oh, cause like, on the AP wave. Oh, okay, have, advanced no, placement. I wasn't I'm taking AP. You. I wasn't I'm taking honors. Yeah. I couldn't. Oh. Not that the fact that I couldn't, but it's like I'm not stupid. Like my mom, she doesn't care about the level you take it at. Mm -hmm. She just wants the result of an A. Mm -hmm. why, would I, <laughs> yeah, why, why would I? Why would I take AP to get a B? She's not gonna give a fuck if it's a B. She's like, where's the A at? Now I'm struggling for no. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but then, I'll the, take CP. But in the grand scheme of things, the, the AP classes helps y'all in later later years because like less money to spend on college. You know, is it less money you have to spend on college? Because I know people that took the same AP class and then had to take it again in college. Well, that's the thing. Because how it works is. If you take an AP class in high school, across the line, it should it should transfer over. But um, if it doesn't transfer over, then you just have to take a test for like a placement test. Mm. And then if you pass that placement test, then those credits transfer over, you know? So, in the grand scheme of things, it, it should be able to save you money. But if you fail it or you don't get a good grade on that, that class, then it's like you took AP class, waste your time for nothing type shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never took AP simply because the fact that, like, what is it going to do for me? But my struggle, and I'm getting ridiculed at home for take, trying to level my, you know what I'm saying? Or trying to do, like, a hard level class. I'll just take CP. Try challenge yourself. Yeah, I'll just take the A. That's all that matters and shit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know. High school is just regular, regular type shit. 
Mm-hmm. I always had the funny squad with me. Yeah. Stay with the jokes. Stay with the jokes. Fellas. And I was, and I realized too, I was always friends with the people that were like kind of outcasted, low key. Like we don't have to believe all his name, but like, I was actually cool. Nigga, nigga said don't say his name, but then say his name. No, we just don't believe it out because what I was to say, how would y'all know what I'm talking about? Mm. I was cool with him too, though. Well, only my freshman year. Now, that's somebody I actually genuinely talk to, for real. Uh, I don't know. I respect it. Yeah. Well, that's so crazy. You were all in like different places in high school. Now look at us. All in one. Besties. We, we, me and Rashad hung out though. Oh. You what? Me and you hung out in high school. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Like we've been to each other. We had no chance. It's great. Yeah. So the only problem with this nigga Rashad, like I would try to hang out with this nigga more, but he would always be in the crib and not trying to do nothing. Like I'm like, yo, it's 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 a basketball game. We already talked about this, and I already explained like, this. Like, yeah, this nigga, I, I explained myself. Yeah. Talk about this a lot. <laughs> like word, like I explained myself. I mean, I I'm just saying though, in general though, like you know, it is what it is though. It is what it is. It is what it is. Mm. Everything I'm not made me everything I am, Sean. That's a song. I know Kanye West. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I mean, I'm not mad at it. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I do. Like we we've been talked about it too. But if I can go back to high school, I definitely would. But. Would you go back to high school? Are you kidding me? I didn't. I didn't. Uh, the high school times, yes. I wouldn't go back to like. I didn't enjoy going to school. I was. I got in trouble with teachers a lot. Mm. For bullshit though, like. Really? Yeah. Here's the thing. I I think niggas would go back to high school with the same time. I'm not gonna lie. I would go back to middle school because I just remember middle school is just pure jokes. Like niggas, like middle school is tough, man. bro. Middle school, middle school is just bad. Middle school is crazy. Funny, bro. Middle, school middle school is, is bad crazy. funny. Like I don't think it was a day that niggas didn't go to middle school and just wasn't just laughing, yeah, bro. Like it was always something. Like it was always something going on. It's like it really was no real work. Like. The shit they would give niggas was busy yeah, work. In the grand scheme of things, like, it wasn't on, hard. Yeah. It wasn't hard. Nah, you besides good. math, I was struggling with math. Yeah, man. Shit, math was my best subject in middle school. You feel me? Like, if everybody remember who was in my class, was it Mr. Ricardi? It would be me and Mohit. We used to sit in front class, right, front row of the class, right? And niggas had like competition on who could get like the best grades, like mm-hmm. every time we did a test or something. And that's how, that's not that's niggas. Real, that's real sturdy. That's, 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 that, that's, that, like, that's how niggas, like, End up enjoying math and became better because like yeah. it was competition basically. It's like yeah, this nigga not about you made to do it better. Fun. Indirectly, you feel me? Because like it was just it's competition and everything. You feel me? Like, like niggas need competition to become better. So I just had a little rival basically in math class and it made a nigga mm. better. And then afterwards, niggas ain't had no rival no more. So niggas like fuck school. What am I doing this for? Bro? Like you know what I mean? It's whatever. Like I just get degrees. So it's like indirectly. Shout out, shout out my nigga Mohit, man. Um, even Lamoka now, right? I think that's what he changed his name. Well, that's what they're doing. They they resell sneakers now. So, oh, the, um, oh yeah, it was yeah. him and uh, Simi, right? And then I believe it's someone else. But mm. shout out, shout out to shout out Mohit, man. But high school, it was just more negative shit than positive. I'm not saying more positive. It wasn't more negative than positive, but it was just more more it's life. Just, it was just life happening. It was more shit happening. Yeah, like yeah. middle school, like it was just like straight jokes, my nigga. Like it was just niggas laughing all the time. Like nothing was serious. It was just the same niggas they used to hang out with. Like, did, wasn't that your whole class for the rest of the day too, or is it just yeah? That's so ugly. But it is. That's that's, that's, that builds that builds like, like chemistry. Like, oh yeah, because yeah. remember everybody was on teams. Like you had yeah, whole same class. Yeah. Your home was your class for the whole time. Yeah, it was tough. My bro. shit was lit though. Like you, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. and I yeah. sat with the same people all the time. So it's yeah, like, it was tough, bro. It was, yeah. tough. it was really my guys. Damn. Tucson versus Purple Waves, man. Shit, it was straight jokes, man. It was straight jokes. That's what's up. But um, high school is just niggas grow up and it's just more more life you have to deal with, I guess you know. But I'll go back to both of them honestly. I'll definitely go back to high school. Would you want the same consciousness? Oh, dude! Like right now? Yeah. Gotta yes, keep that that's the reason why I'll go back gotta to high keep, school. Gotta keep that knowledge, but at the same time, niggas can't do nothing different though, because then you fuck up the rest of the timeline, right? You nah, know? I could just you know I wouldn't try out for the basketball team the way I did. What do you mean the way you did? Like I tried out like three years in a row and I did. I got cut every time. So like, fuck it. Cause you would have done like one and done. I wouldn't try it at all. Oh. Damn. Did they just hate on you, or you wasn't that nice? I wasn't that nice, but. But you got better over the years, right? Yeah, definitely. Mm. So your skills would transfer over. So you go back and knowing the skills you have now, right? Would you not? I transfer? still wouldn't want to try out though. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Another thing that popped into my head. You think you know? You we shout out a lot of niggas. On the pod, you think they hear it? 
Some probably not. Some, that's what I'm saying. We shot out like quite a few. Yeah. But should we like should we make it known though? I feel like no. Nah. If they hear it, they hear it. If they that's need to, if they need to, they'll hear it. Yeah. It'll get to the, the universe. Yeah, the universe is funny like that's that. That's what I'm right? saying. Yeah, the universe like, is real yeah, funny. It'll like happen. Niggas be like, yeah, I randomly listened to an episode, man. Like, you shouted a nigga out. Appreciate it. Or it could be like 30 years down the line. That's what I'm saying. It could be down the line. Like, this is this is crazy, though. Like, us recording a pod. Like, this is like forever, like, set in stone. Yes. It's in history, nigga. Like, there's going to be a time where we could look back and be like, wow, look how young we were. Oh, shit. To my kids like, we'd be like, yo, yo, dad, look at your hair. Oh, I'm shit. Saying. Imagine it, Rashad. It, 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 might, just... it, might have, it might be, it might come to the time, right, where some of these episodes, like, might be like NFTs, man. We don't know. We don't know uh, how how the world is going. It might just be digital archives, yeah. art. You feel me? Fuck it. It might be in a vault somewhere. It might be in a national museum. It might be in somebody's house. Who knows? When I always think about this, I always think about it like, it's got, like in the in the worst way possible. Damn. Meaning like, like I, I always think about it in, like in my demise. That's when they Damn. come back. Damn, nigga. All this actually listen to podcast for like my words are here to stay. Damn. That's when niggas are actually gonna come back and be like, "Oh, mm-hmm. so niggas aren't going to happen until it's too late." I hope that's Isn't that not what the always case. happens. I hope that's not the case, man. Please give us our flowers now. What flowers do you think you deserve? Us, us, you personally, like, what flowers do you think you deserve? Genuine question. I like to say I, li- I like to think I brighten brighten up the room. Okay. I agree. So if niggas just like, yo, James, you always know how to put a smile on my face. You always gonna make me feel better. All right, yeah, I appreciate you. That's what I'm here for. That. Yeah, it's a flash for that. Um, always ah. putting niggas on to whatever and everything. Sean or you? Sean. Um, yeah, I would agree to that as well. Um, I always like sharing knowledge as much as possible. You feel me? Well rounded. Well rounded. I try to be a jack of all trades. Um. I try to be as positive as possible. Um, try to always see the, the best of every situation, no matter how bad it is, you know. Um, try to be a good human being as an example of how a nigga should live, you know. Mm-hmm. Overall, like, I'm just trying to fucking menace to society, you know. So I think <laughs> I deserve flowers for that, right? But it's like, do you deserve flowers to be a good person? Because everybody should be a good person. I was, I was, I was, well, not to like... We can come back to this topic, but I was like telling my like my one supervisor, like she's like a new supervisor. She's like she's like a very, she's very nice. Yeah, but sometimes like, like you can't she, be nice as a supervisor. Yeah, I, like I told her, I was like like she brings in snacks. She's like, oh, you coming to work tomorrow? All right, I'm gonna bring in snacks. Da, da, da. I'm like, you know, you're like you don't like I'm supposed to do that. Like you don't have to like like reward me for doing what I'm supposed to do. She's like, well, you know, everybody calls out so often. I just want to like I'm like well like so little extra, you know. And then, like, there was, like, a joke where she, like, came in the truck. And she, I was like, oh, you look mad. Mm-hmm. And I was like, don't yell at me. You won't be my favorite supervisor anymore. And then I was just like, ah. And she took that to heart. No, no, no. She oh, laughed. Oh, but, like, yeah. you know, if, if it's. But that. I, I Looking back, I realized that has happened to me. Like, like there's, like, a cool, like, teacher or, like, someone else. And they're like, oh. And then they actually, like, snap. And it's like, oh. Then Man. you stop fucking with them like that. But it's really, like, niggas have their breaking points. But back to the flowers. Um, I think I think I deserve flaws just for for being there most of the time for some niggas. I was about Especially to say, like, mentally. yeah, like you need a nigga to talk on, you need to be there, I'm gonna be there type shit. So but that's one thing I think that's just one thing I think I definitely should deserve flowers for. I'll give you your flowers for that. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You, you as well. Chill. Everybody getting flowers today, man. Y'all ever you been get gifted a flower. flowers? You, get a, do you ever what? Been gifted flowers? That's like, really? That's the crazy part. I don't think I ever got flowers. I'm always the niggas giving flowers. Well, I ain't never bought flowers. General, exactly. Man. That's niggas in general. When, when, like, when are men going to get flowers? Like Taj, Taj sent me a video saying some shit. It was something about like a man getting a flowers for the first time. And I'm like, that really would have brought up a nigga. Like, when do we ever a nigga get might flowers? Cry. A nigga might so, like, cry. Oh, a nigga might tear up and cry. <laughs> Imagine. If niggas really sent you flowers? Just anybody. Yeah. Somebody care about it, gave you flowers. Mm-hmm. Like, damn. Because anytime, look, 99% of the time, you walk anywhere and you see somebody with a bou- bouquet of flowers, you automatically in your mind think, Someone okay, gave them to that. No, no. Someone some, loves them? No, some female is about to get the flowers. Or oh. some some woman is about to get a bouquet of flowers. Never like a nigga again. Never like, oh yeah, he about to deliver this to a man. Never. Never. That's a little too gay though, right? No. There's a stigma flowers. in the world that, that men can't get flowers? Is yeah. That, that's what it is? I mean, that's like... 
I don't think Sean's not talking thing. about men giving men flowers. He's saying like a woman giving niggas like oh, oh, yeah, oh like, yeah. just men getting oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh 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 oh. I thought like you were still talking about like your friends like or no 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 no. no, no, no. no I'm just saying in general like men like gifted give, flowers. Like women don't give men flowers. Men don't give them men flowers. I'm talking about like women don't like, propose. Well, women some really? some women do. Yeah, I, I was about to say, like, that's <laughs> some women do. Some women do propose. But like the the old fashioned way is the man proposes true which is ugly because but 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 like expensive as but in the grand scheme of things though like in the history of time men never got no flowers though no yeah never women, women want all this equality to stand a third where is the flowers given that huh well Tell i mean, men can give men flowers what if like you got married i'm like Yo, here's some flowers bro here's some flowers for I, you i look at you a little, a little what great. if these are like your favorite flowers though like you I actually fuck with flowers. flowers okay what if you fuck with plants or something if I don't you give me a black rose i'd be like oh i love it they give you some pineapple express? No, but black roses, because red roses are like played out, and black's my favorite color. So, like, mm. just for putting out there, black roses, like, wow. Like, but, anyways, if a nigga gave me, like, oh, like, I'd appreciate it. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that I'd never be, I'd, I'd be grateful for the gift. Grateful for the gift, yes. Hmm. Not really neat. You're really neat? <laughs> I said that would, that oh. would be really neat. I think, I think uh, the new staple should be women giving men flowers. You know, or niggas giving niggas flowers. True. So no, Sean graduates, I'm like, you hear some flowers, bro. So with that being said, though, I might just do that. So with that being said, though, right? Any special event that's coming up, you know what I mean? Um, Valentine's Day, um, you know what I mean? Bless the nigga with some flowers. Graduations, birthdays, holidays, whatever, <laughs> whatever it gotta be, man. Hey, I'm staying single for Valentine's Day. I'm not trying to spend money. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, they're gonna have to see me after. I'll take NFC flowers too. NFT flowers. I'll take, I'll take <laughs> NFT flowers as well. It's the thought that matters. It's a thought. Or it's a thought. It's a thought. How how the, how the IG thoughts be? Oh, bless my cash app. Bless, <laughs> bless my cash app. No. Oh, link in bio. Link in bio. Bless my cash app. Lindor truffles. L truffles. Money sign. Money sign. L truffles. Yeah, slow more. Yeah, slow more. With that being said, though. Um, uh, haircut and page still coming soon, so bless bless the page. Help help me uh, get to where I need to be at. You know what I mean. Help me buy some more um, equipment. You know what I mean. Donations, tax deductible <laughs> oh, donations to help out a young black Yo, entrepreneur. You feel me? That's funny. Tax deductible uh, donations. You know. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Twenty twenty two, we coming hard. Pause. Mm. Yeah, and reason. Pause. But uh, what was getting into y'all? Um. So, like, you know, like, how everybody has, like, their own individual style? Do you guys, like, know who inspired yours? Well, Dressing-wise? Yeah. Fashion-wise? Yeah, anything. Well, dressing, like, fashion-wise, yeah. Do you want to go or do you want to go? If you have it off the top, go ahead. I mean, I would just try to say culturally, um, just, like, just black people in general, and then, like, the influence from the internet. Mm. Just, just all for it, because... It's not like I could say like, oh, like my I took my 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 brothers or like my dad's style because uh, first of all I don't have a brother and then second of all I definitely didn't take my dad's style. So it's like basically off of the culture or I seen on the internet, um, black people in general, you know, and from from there I guess. Granted, here and there my sister put me onto like just brands and like mm. certain shit that's like, oh yeah, this is like this is like an Air Max. This is what, like this is this is what Ralph Lauren is. They were like, this is what this is, you know. You know, but like after I got like informed of what the what it is, and I just took with it and ran with it, I guess you know. Mm. And then you just make it your own after you learn more shit. See, you seen that sister shit, like the polo shit, like definitely my mom because mm. I was start, she was picking my clothes for a certain point. So definitely all that polo mm. shit that I wear, that's my mom influence. We're talking like now though, Jaden, mm. like all his sweaters and shit, the colors, this, then a third, fucking I love when shirts. Steve's have- like designs on it Jaden all the way like I don't know I don't know sometimes you kind of get at least when it comes to like piercings low key like kind of get that from like woman like me getting this double piercing no man has a double piercing I liked how it looked on woman mm. and I was like fuck it tapping in your and- andro- androgynous bag Right? No? Either that or just top. Every man has a feminine side. Like, you have to tell them to your feminine side. So, I mean, I guess that's mine. Like, if I can get a third one, I would. 
But that's Would you get the, the like the cartilage, like the bar? Not, no, not the cartilage. <laughs> but I do like when they have like all studs going up. Like that's just tough. Like if, like I said, if I can get the third one on this side, I would do it. You could do the bar too. No, I'm not. I would not do that. That's one thing I wouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> the bar is the bar too much. Yeah, no. The most I would ever do would be like, not all the way up, but have a lot of studs in a row type shit. That's why I did it like that. I was like, oh, that looks mad. That looks mad nice on women. So like, fuck it, that look nice on me. Hmm. Well, cause I was like thinking, like I was getting dressed, and I was like, "Yo, like, what the fuck can I wear?" And then I was like, "Yo, like, I really like have like a set. Like, my brain only works one way. Like, I, I don't like I wear like dark colors. Like, I always wear black, gray, or like maybe like a dark shade of something else. But like, like I feel out of place if I'm wearing something like like red or like blue, like something really? like yeah, it's like weird. mad vibrant. Yeah, like that's just like the way it is. Like just the way my shit thinks. Like I'm just like, fuck it." Mm-hmm. Um, dark shirt and niggas always match so like fuck it like i never I really had that. to like try and like i never really had to push like my comfort zone to try and like match and match different types of things so all right when it comes to my hair being long too that also comes from like that comes from the lay twins michael jackson I'm like yeah i just like the fact that you can do multiple things when you have long hair so mm-hmm. yeah, you just pull it from everybody pull from everywhere type shit that's a very good question it is to all the viewers listening, where do you get your style from? That who might be the question, that might be the question on Spotify. Who, yeah. who, who, who Spotify influenced your style right now? You know, new age, old school, modern pop, goth, gothic. Um, what faucet did you get your drip from? Mm. What faucet? Oh shit! <laughs> it was a good one, right? That was a good one, right? Yeah, that was a good one. Um, <laughs> Diggy, Diggy, was had, Diggy just had to catch that. Like, yeah, I was like, oh, he was like, what? So you know, it's about to. This is the last episode of 2021. Sadly. Sadly. Episode 85. But, um, you want to recap on the year? I feel like that's one thing. That's what I was about to do. I was about yeah, to. Yeah, like I was like, about really to recap. recant some statements. Oh shit! The Sorry. year of 2021. Yeah. Well, back to like the time where we were talking about um, what was it? Bisexual Superman, right? Yeah. And you were saying how like. Oh, like, or no, no, it was Dave Chappelle. It was Dave Chappelle's, the Dave Chappelle special. And um, you were talking about how, like, LGBT community issues are seen as put before the black community's issues. Mm -hmm. And I said that, like, I'm black first, but, like, really, like, I'm, like, I'm all, like, I'm gay, I'm black. Like, I have to own all those identities in one. So, like, to really put anything above something else, for me, like, I don't know. I feel like issues should be brought up together, not more than the other. So, in a perfect world, but... Yeah, that there was that, and then um, the whole gay Superman thing. Like you know, like it's you say like we're try- everybody's trying to be more PC and politically correct, but I feel like you know the world's changing, and these are like the people that are in the world. So like, you're trying to say they should be accepted. Yeah, well, not even that they should be. Well, I mean, everybody should be accepted, mm-hmm. ex- unless you're like out here wilding and yeah. killing people. But um, but like you know, like this is the way it is. So like, if these are the people in the world, like why can't they be represented, or like why shouldn't they? Like I'm not, I'm not mad at the representation for um, trans people or gay people or any type of other person. Mm. Like I'm here for it. Now the fact that you brought that up it brings me to a question I have to, I have to think about. Um, what is something that like what is the, the the staple that defines you as a person? Like is it your personality, who you are, like how it's you act? Be, well, it's, it's gotta, gotta, gotta be, be the personality. personality. Yeah. yeah, it's like that's the soul. Like that's like. But then some people' personality are fickle. Some people try to pretend to fit in, like niggas try to fit in. Like we mentioned earlier in high school, like type shit, you know. Because I, I remember seeing um one thing I watched earlier this week is always always Sunny in Philadelphia came back with the fifteenth season, I think, and then I think like episode like four four they go to Sweden or something, right? In what show? Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. You, 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 y'all ain't watch that? No, I don't watch that. It's a little. Tra- I know what it is. It's a little too racist it. for me. It's funny. It's funny. I'll give you that. It's racist towards really. I don't know that. It's, it's it's a little wild. I guess like all right. Nah, bro. Cause niggas niggas watch South Park and all. I watch, yeah, I watch South Park. Come the on, office, bro. But like it's funny. If, I'm like, oh. Like. Come on, bro. Regardless, regardless, it it comes down to a part where um this is Mac like Maca is like one of the the characters and he's like he's going through the identity crisis and he's like damn like who the fuck am I? Mind you, he's like he just found out that he's not um he's not um a man. No, he's not um he's not Irish. He like he finds out I'm not Irish. Like he calls his mom. He's like, Mom, I'm not Irish. She's like, No. He's like, You're Dutch. She's like, The whole time I thought I was, I thought I was Irish. Like, who the fuck am I now? Like, what defines me? I'm not Irish anymore. So like, I think about this. Um, oh, I'm gay. Like, that's my new personality. Like, I, I'm, I'm a gay <laughs> man before I was Irish, so I gotta be gay. And it's like, 
who are you, Mac? Though, as like as a person, though, like is the fool who defines him. So like he was trying to. So the episode of him trying to find out like who the fuck he is and like what like going through like the progression of like, damn, I'm not Irish. Okay, I'm gay. Gay, my new thing. Oh, if I'm not, is this and so he just goes through that though. But, but in the grand scheme of things, what really defines a person, or what can you say defines like the where your, your nationality, who, who you're raised around, like well, your I personality. Mean, like, I, I what's like the should, defining character? I feel like you should own all your identities if you belong to multiple different groups, regardless of what they are. But so um, then, can you just pick and choose which one you want to associate yourself with, or is all of them make who you are? Um, I mean, I like logically speaking all of them make who you are because you're all of those things but um i don't know people like to reach when they have a little certain multiple something pools in them. multiple <laughs> pools to jump from yeah know? which is ugly but mm. Mm. do you seem like we said tap in it's everything that you are though tap into everything that you, you are said, like, you like, said that you should identify with own, the own your identities own yeah. all of them so then how, so how do you own all of them and also define who you are then so, what are you trying to say? Like, how do you define how do you define who you are as a person? I, you answer that question. How, 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 I, I'm asking. Well, you can I don't be, know. You can be multiple things. Like I said, I'm black and gay. Like I'm. But does gay really define who you are as a person, though? Or is just a characteristic of your character, like or just who you are? You know, it's just part of my identity. You being gay is part of your identity. Yes. Because look, I'm being gay. Like I am gay. Like it's a part of my identity. That's the thing. They're they're like Mac. It's just you just, you just like men, though. You know. So it's like James, you just like men. How is that a defining characteristic of who you are, though? How is that defined as like that differentiate that dif- That's the difference between me, you, and Rashad. Well, me and you and Rashad. That you're just gay, though. Yeah. I mean, I guess, but it's like. So like, why wouldn't that be a part of my identity, though? I don't know, man. I don't know, cause well, it's, uh, I. It's, it's your your identity. I can't say what you should define as or like how you you know what I mean. If that's you. Only you can answer that question. But if you want to define it just like your sexual orientation, then that's how you define it. I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. That was just a question I had to ask. Like, how do you define your identity as a person? I don't know. Define your identity. I mean, I'm, I mean, I feel like your identity is multiple components. Like you're not just one thing. Well, nobody is just one thing, you know. Some people are though, like some people are just only just one thing. Some people are only good at one thing, and that's the only thing they know. And then, well, being good, but like what you are, like exactly. Some people are only good at being like mechanics, and they only know being a mechanic. You but they they could be more than a mechanic. That's what I'm saying. Exactly, saying. but that's the thing. They don't they don't know that because they only seen them work on that one thing, that one craft. So they define themselves as mechanics, and that's it. Well, I'm sure they have other interests, like. How you know that? I was just saying, in this example, though, that's the only thing. Is like, I like working on cars, though, so I'm a mechanic, and, like, I'm a mechanic by heart, by mechanic by trade, and that's just who I am. Well, he likes cars, and he's a mechanic. Mm. I guess. I don't know, man. It's just... That could branch off. If he really knows his way under the hood, he could be, like, engineer <laughs> status, like... Mm. Automotive that engineer? Sexual? No. Oh. Automotive engineer? So if there's three things to define you, what would it be? Three things that define me. Like three things that define you. Like do you think that define Rashad Lindor? Solitude, my hair, and music. Those three right there is who I am. It makes like I don't know. My energy, my um, fuck. Aura. No, the same thing as energy. Yeah. Energy. Come back to me for the other two. Only two that can pop in my head off rip is just my mind, my mindset, my personality, and then. Damn, what I say? What I say? My character too. Uh, character, personality, different things. I get. Yeah, I think so. So what's character? Characters, like like you have a strong like moral compass, like or you have like a you can have a good character or a bad character, but like, char- like integrity and stuff, like. That's not personality. No, I would say that's more character. Yeah. Mm. I got my other two though. I would say my energy, my optimism. Would that fall into energy? Low key. Optimism, energy. Yeah, you're optimistic. You're ener- no. My nah, energy. I think I think optimism will go to your character if you had to put that. Or like, All right, so my my, my character, my um, my energy, maybe. and yeah. um. Fuck. 
I just I just forgot it. Wow. Yo, that's crazy. Trying to thought it's just crashed. Literally, literally, literally. Derailed, literally. and just pulled a snow piercer. Oh, and wait, my optimism, my energy. Oh, I was gonna say my character. But oh, hmm. okay. I have like a strong moral compass. I take pride in that. Mm -hmm. I always had, but shit, I don't know. What my third one is. Yeah, mine's regular regular. I'm not talking about loud and shit. <laughs> <about the corner laughs> and shit. She's passionate about whatever she's talking about. Mm -hmm. She's passionate about whatever she's talking about. Imagine. She's talking shit. Like, <laughs> nah. Mm. Hey, a little, a little, little question for y'all to think about. You know, what defines you? Can we put two polls up? I think. Like I said, Spotify listeners, be on the lookout, man. Cause yeah, questions coming soon. Questions coming soon. Type, type, type. I really don't know what my third one is. What would define? Being gay, or is that your energy? I don't know. I have gay energy. <laughs> I don't know. Big gay, gay energy. Big gay, gay energy. <laughs> big gay energy. Um, That's the thing, though, right? Like it goes back to the earlier statement. Where you was like, you weren't, you weren't even out in high school. So that really, did that really define who you were, though? That you weren't really you twenty four seven. I mean, I was gay in high school, but I was in the closet. Like that was still like my. So you doing gay shit just low key? No, but I was oh. gay. Understandable. He said he was doing gay shit, but low-key. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, niggas was doing gay shit in high school, though. Who's niggas? Sean, you were on the football team. Like, oh, niggas, like come on now. What the fuck does that mean, though? Like, there's gay shit that's normalized in, like, friend groups and stuff. I mean, nah. I mean, it's just jokes, but, like, if the shoe fits. Yeah, like, if you're making a gay joke, though, that's different, though. The there shoe was, fits. Were, were it was just gay jokes, or was it gay actions, too? Gay, sometimes they tie together, you know what I'm saying? Sean, come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, come on, bro. Sean trying to Sean trying to act funny. Sean, you were on the football team, what bro. Is that, what does that mean? Come though? on. Niggas no locker room antics, bro. It's all right. Like, bro, you, you, you talk about sports antics all the time. There were signs about girls like, oh, yo, what, what, why y'all keep slapping y'all asses? <laughs> nah, well, that's, 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 that's gay. Like, why y'all keep doing that? That's just sports in general, though. Exactly, but it's like I don't know, cause like that's a prime example where she's like, nah, nah that's gay. You don't, but you, but you don't like get another man slapping your ass, but you'll snap a little. Bit. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Besides, <laughs> besides the, the stereotypical ass, the oh, good game. I, I don't know, I don't know. Damn, Nigga James wants Sean to just say whatever went on and shit. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll know. Well, you wonder what here. I did? I did this, this, this. I'm not sure what he. It's not, it's not like blue by the state. Like I'm not sure. You're trying to act all innocent. Like what? But what are you? What, what are you expecting to hear? Like what are you expecting to hear? I don't know. Like niggas, like niggas joke around in a gay way, though. I guess, but at the same time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what do you want to hear, though? Like niggas make accountability. Niggas make gay jokes. Yeah, niggas make gay jokes. Niggas make gay jokes. Yeah. Say um. Gay wouldn't be like your identification. No. Mm -mm. Would you identify as a fish? No. Would you identify as a he, she? As a trendsetter. Ooh, that's what you probably should have said. My pronouns. Trendsetter. <laughs> and that's the world is gonna be bad for the next like thirty years. Why is it gonna be funny? Cause it's like well, God knows what's gonna happen. What the f like? It's like right now it's bad. So who knows where it's gonna go? Well, what's the issue with pronouns though? Like. If a nigga want to be called, all right, they, like, all right, like. Niggas are identified If it's, like, toasters. some wild shit, like. We're not going to rehash this issue, but it's people identified as toasters, my guy. Like, See, that's not, like, that's, like, that's OD. Like, that's like, now you're dragging. Bro. Like, come on. They got a bathroom just for toasters? Mm -hmm. No. Just for toasters? No. Why you saying Just for toasters. <laughs> but I think if, like, if it's, like, this whole thing with trans um, identity and bathrooms, I feel like trans people should have their own bathroom. Some people, some places they do it. You know, like non-binary. But sometimes niggas be reaching too. That's why it's like it's like this is like where my like I don't want to say my like issues with the LGBT community, but like I feel like niggas just be reaching. Like I saw there was like a TikTok, and there was this, this guy. And he was like, "Yo, like how do I approach a trans woman? Like I be trying to flirt like on some real regular shit, but like how do I like like you know like I be I be macking like but I, I don't I don't I like I be in dubbed on a and trans woman. Yeah. Like intentionally, what? Okay. That's weird to you. Okay, but I'm trying to make sure I understand the, the situation. Of male to female. Okay. 
And then somebody commented, it's disrespectful to call them trans, just call them women. And I was just like, oh, like, see, like, that's reaching. Like, if it's like, like, is it reaching or just the particulars, the particulars? I feel like that's a reach. Like, I mean, like, all right, yeah, like, yes, she's a woman, but like, mm. a trans woman, like, yeah, you, that's very important. To yeah, stay. at least that's what I think. That's a very key. But who am I? Because I'm not part of the community, so they probably. You know, but I feel like that's like that's a key. Like that's like I feel like that's a good identifier, if anything. Like, because there's some shit that that's that like just well, I don't want to say being a trans woman doesn't make you like a real woman, but like you're like a different kind of woman, if anything. Being a trans woman definitely does not make you like a hundred percent woman, though. Because trans woman is yeah, it's like kids. physically impossible. Yes, yeah. but like. If you want to identify and like get surgery and shit, well, not even just just identify. Like, go ahead. Now, just to bring up, um, Dave Spell was he he did have a point too, because how the fuck Caitlyn Jenner become woman of the year and this nigga was woman of the year for less than a whole year? So it's like the amount of women that he he beat. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's like y'all gotta step y'all game up because. He was moving for like six, six, eight months before he got. He's moving for the year just for doing what he did. But that's what the thing. That, do? That's what I'm saying. Like in the grand scheme of things, like yeah, that's that's just. Who, I would say that's just the name. That's fucked up. Though. But here's but here's the thing, though, right? It's the fact that there's so much women that also did a lot more for the actual that's women in the world yeah. and as a whole versus just switching your gender and just wanting to be identified as something else. You know? Yeah. That 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 could, that could just come down to the fact that like the name. You know what I mean? This is who he is. Like oh. It's just press. You feel me? We got to talk about it. Let's give him woman of the year. He's just so brave. He's just so. Yeah. She's so, my fault. She's so brave. She's such a uh, inspiration for the generation that that will come after. But mind you, she was not the first person to do that though. Like she didn't do anything not, different yeah, not either. Not at all. Not at all. Like she literally didn't do anything special that has she's not already been done before. She's just famous, which is so crazy. Cause it's like you taking away from somebody that probably deserves their flowers. You that know definitely I mean? deserve their flowers more. Yeah. You know. She don't really rock with women like that anyway. That's what I'm saying. She's not for she's not pro choice or none of that. Damn. Is it weird when women aren't pro choice though? I mean, I don't know, nigga. Because that's, that's woman's business. I don't that's that's woman's it. business, right? I, don't know. I can't speak on you, woman's business. You know what I you know what just popped into my head? I don't know how or why, but that that girl cheating when the nigga caught her in the car when she was butt ass naked. Oh, I see that. What? Devious. You don't be in the Twitter chat. Devious. Oh. Devious. I, I, I might I, I don't know if I saw it or not. Devious. Regardless, she got she was I guess fucking some other nigga in the car and he called her and he opened the car door. And he was like, "Why are you cheating on me? Like, get out the car." This, that, and the third. Blah, blah, oh, she blah, was blah. tight, right? Or she was like covering her face? Or she didn't say nothing. No, she, no, she did. She was saying stuff, but she was just like, "Leave or yeah, come back yeah, when I'm yeah, done." Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but is that nigga? She wasn't saying that. Oh. She wasn't saying, was saying, was saying, was saying that the important. Oh, nigga, yeah, right? it was it was his car or her car. Well, I'm assuming it's not his car. Nah, I would have bugged the, the fuck out. In his V? Oh, shit. Come back she, was, goodness. she was like, she was like, come, like, can we talk about this when we're done? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what do you That's mean? Wild. That's no, wild. No, but she she dragged it because he was like, he was like, he was like, why are you cheating on this that, this shit? Because I don't fucking love you. This that to leave. I was like, <laughs> that, that hurt though. Last well, man seen that shit, your Jesus. girl's butt ass naked sitting on the nigga like this. <laughs> But, but it's a crazy. She's not even trying to put her clothes but on. But it's a crazy part. She's still trying to do what she has to crazy, do. Look, it's a crazy part on top of that is that this nigga filmed it, posted it on the internet, right, and was okay with it though. Like he, you can tell there's some hurt in his voice though. No, no, no. That, it, obviously he was hurt, but the fact that he, he, he probably just wanted to show off what needed to be show off. He needed to show that to show that, that y'all woman really ain't shit. Cause God damn it, oh, but niggas have done worse though. Huh? How? We've seen a, a girl blow up a nigga's car. We see, bro. We see, it. we see, we uh, see. Shorty smash the nigga windows all Christmas. We saw that nigga beat up his girlfriend in front of her five year old. That's domestic violence. Though. That's a whole that's, different that's category. That's whole different. Is that not wrong? Still, women kill their husbands. So men we, kill women. Exactly. So we, at the same time, though, what we what we talk about? What we talk? So we, both genders are equally wrong. But we I was just, just trying to keep it in the cheating bro, we aspect, we, we, like, we, the, the, we, like we cheating, just, cheating, like like relationship. We're not that that domestic. Violence, that's that's whole, murder. That's that's a whole other conversation. Come, uh, Car how many times Offset cheated on Cardi B? He's he, he's a he's he's a Migo. Tristan Thompson. He's a Tristan Migo. Thompson. Tristan Thompson. Migo. He's a Migo, bro. That's that's to do with Tristan us. Tristan Thompson. He's an ass basketball player. He's still black. That has, that has nothing to do well, with we're us. We're talking about black men, don't you? He's also so. he's also dating he's Kardashian. He's also dating Kardashian. So like, oh, that will that will bro. That will mentally fuck you up. 
We talk about just average people. Shit exactly. On the internet. What what have you seen that like niggas have done? I just gave you two examples. Some girl tried to blow up a nigga's car because it's whatever. She put dead doing. ants in this nigga's boots? She put <laughs> cheetah on the buttons. Like, yo, just let me know. I haven't I have yet to see it. What what has you a nigga yet to see slash full fo- fl- at least slash- what has a nigga done that like because a girl cheated? Don't well, let me stop talking. Cause niggas be wild <laughs> sometimes too. I used to, what's your, or, what you not and not the cheating aspect, but like niggas following, trying to follow girls into their apartments and shit like that. That's that's that's, that's what's different. A, what's a, that's in this different category. Bro. Okay, so like, that's, that's what I'm trying to niggas say. Niggas cheat though. Duh. But in retaliation for niggas cheating though, bitches will go to the moon the and back. Niggas. But we're talking about cheating. We're, we're not talking, talking about, the, about the. We're not talking about the repercussions. We're talking about cheating. We're not cheating topics. No, we're right? talking about the repercussions along with the cheating. We're talking along with the cheating. I don't know how to show you. Show he smashed his back windows talking about Merry Christmas. And they go, but you act like niggas don't fight the guy that the girl's cheating on them with. Have you seen it? Yeah, you never seen that? There's videos like that. Bro, I, I, bro, I heard stories. It's like, don't even go through it. You feel me? Like, don't even go through it. Cause I heard stories where, where Shorties will go to the other, the other girl's house, right? Not even fight the man, fight the girl, and basically, basically beat the fuck up out of the girl. Over the nigga vice, cheating. Vice versa. Nah, no niggas is fighting another nigga over Wasn't they just arguing about chatting, it on the... Chatting, what, chatting. Weren't they just know, talking about it on the Joe Pudden podcast? That's what I'm saying. I know oh, some, niggas, some oh. niggas definitely will do that. I'm oh. not saying I'm one of them, but oh. you crazy as fuck. You think another nigga's oh. not? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All I'm just saying is, woman, y'all get caught up bad. Like, that's bad. You're <laughs> butt ass. Niggas get caught up bad, too. Like, can you send me these videos you're seeing? I don't, I can't think of one that comes straight up. I can't think of one either because I'm not like, oh, like, damn. Maybe women, maybe women don't post it. They just be doing shit. Yeah, Next maybe, time I see it, I'll send it. Next yeah, time please. I see it. Maybe, maybe women just be doing shit, don't be posting We're not about it. to act like that shit don't happen. We're not saying that. We're not saying that. We're just saying women do it more. Well, y'all just saying women do it more. They're just more devious. You're not maybe. gonna catch a nigga butt ass naked <laughs> in that wooden shit. You ain't caught up in all that. Like she did it in a car that had no tents. The fuck you think was gonna happen? That was just nuts though. That one video is really nuts though, and I really felt for the nigga. That's literally so sad. Cause he was hurt, and she literally said it. I don't fucking lie. You did it. All right. So if that was the case, you could have just left though. You didn't have to do all this fuck shit. And now I gotta sit here and look at you butt ass on another nigga. And no, the whole internet has to see that shit now. Mm. That's nuts. And this shit like that, I cannot. It's not happening to me. I'm not. It's not happening to me. It's just not. It's not. Me and Donnie had a really good talk, man. Shout out to that nigga Donnie, you heard? But. I don't want to bring it up, but I don't, I don't think it's going to go nowhere. So, Is it relevant? Kind of, it is. It is. It's just I'm pretty sure we brought it up before, but it's just the fact that like you see how women move. And- no, not with that, but it's just in people in general, they tend to always go back to their ex. Like nobody's really trying to, at least for the majority of things. Like people will get cheated on and not move on. They'll stay still. I'm not talking about staying in the relationship, but still be in contact, still fucking with their ex. It's not a third. And my reason, my my theory for that is just that. They'll rather just deal with it from that person because people see how bad the field is nowadays. It's like this is just what it is. So why deal with it with somebody new? Might as well just go through with the same person over and over because you're already comfortable. You already have a relationship. What's the point of going with somebody new to build a whole new relationship? This, that, a third, just for that cheating shit to happen again. You might as well just do with somebody you already had something with. That shit's really common, and I wish I could. Or bring like up. you know, you, the the mind can be like the mind's a crazy thing. So like people can have their mind like conditioned to just be like. Just think that's okay. It's not okay because they. But uh, yeah, the like, like it's not okay. It's not, but they like, know. No, I'm talking about the people I'm talking about. Situation I've seen, they know it's not okay. But it's just like, it's just it's still gonna be here because they rather just not do it with somebody else. Like I don't. Well, I don't then know. that's like that's like all right. Like that shit happens really often. Way more than you think. Way more than you think. You know what it comes down to in general it just it takes a lot of strength it takes a lot of lot of strength not even physical strength but like mental strength to be in a relationship so if a lot of people don't have the mental the mental strength and the capacity for it it's gonna fail you know like it's gonna fail so what did I, I do what i was saying it's because you're saying that the fact that they're about to go back to their ex though they don't have the, the mental strength capacity to, to deal with the bullshit you know because it takes a lot of a lot of strength 
just to deal with the the person in general. So it's like now you got to deal with a whole different person, knowing the shit you already go through and like the experiences. So it's like it's a lot. You feel me? But that's what I'm saying. When they, when I go back with the ex, I'm not saying they get back in their relationship, but they, they just, just go keep back them around yeah. like. It's not hard at all for me. The moment you cheat on me, there's no. You know, that's you though. Some some other people, you know. That's just like a self respect thing, though. That's you. Certain people, I don't know, man. And like I said, that's uh. I don't know if y'all talk to y'all niggas like that, but that shit's very common though. Like it's really not like not just my thing. Like it happens a lot, a mm. lot. But I mean, hey, I get it. Shit. Hey man, black people, black men don't cheat. You know what I mean? Oh, that, that's that's common. That's common sense. Don't up here. That. It's common sense. Up here. <laughs> that's the the common sense is between the, the 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 niggas I'm talking with. So, with that being said, black men don't cheat. Niggas didn't recap the shit. That's all you have to say when you have to recap your statement. That's that's the yeah. Recap. That's, what, that's 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 it. Thinking about like all everything I said, those are the two things I wanted to talk about. Um, you don't want to recap? Just give a review of how your year went. You went through a breakup. This then a third, like no. Uh, nigga put your shit saying, out. Like, nigga put your shit out there. Nigga put your shit out there. I put my shit out there. Yeah, I'm just saying that's a recap. Like uh, a lot of lessons through a lot of pain. Um I I I'm on to better things, you know. I got like what two switch jobs twice, so I'm on my third job, but hopefully consistency, I like my job, you know. Mm. Just try to do better next year, right? Tight. And not get manipulated again and cheated on and shit, yeah. Mm. Maybe try women. You know what? <laughs> 2022? <laughs> women all year, right? <laughs> all year? Word. You know what I mean? Just, just see, what, just see how it goes. But you can't. But you literally can't. Just see how it goes. He can't. Like, even if he wanted goes. to, he couldn't. Just see how it goes. He could not. Just, just, build, just build a friendship, you know what I mean? And just see what happens. You know? You know I have, like, mad female friends right so marry one of them so no I don't, I don't, I don't, isn't there a show where it's like married at first sight type shit what isn't there a show that's like married at first sight yes yeah, yeah that's just ugly as hell though that's weird mm. what's your recap ups downs funny moments life lessons learned um money made money lost um overall seven six out of ten <laughs> <laughs> no, you rain the year. You rain the. Year. I mean, I don't know, man. But like, mm-hmm. this is a lot of shit happened, man. Like a lot mm-hmm. of shit happened, you know. Um, just hope for the best, and that the next year is gonna be better. Uh, in grand scheme of things, the fire plan is still going strong, I guess. Um, just try to stick to that. That 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 that's just the overall thing. The fact that that's still going well, that's the main thing, main objective. Um. Can't really, can't really say I would take anything back besides, nah, because everything was said as it needs to be said. Um, if y'all misunderstood or perceived it as something else, that's on y'all. Um, I don't hate nobody. I love, I love a lot of people. Um, let me not say I love everyone, but I don't got no hate in my heart for nobody. You know what I mean? But that's how it is. What about you, man? Uh, this year, man, recap, 2021, a long year, you feel me, especially with school. Uh, niggas went back to in-person school. Um, life, happened, like, I was a part of just life in general. Like, John got married, part of a wedding, you feel me? A lot of firsts this year? Type shit. Like, just a lot of life moments just happened, you feel me? Um... Well, I was single the whole year. That was cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. He, but said, he said no stress. No stress, man. Yeah, that was cool and Pocket shit. Pocket stay fat, you know what I mean? No no worries. Nice. Lost, Kind of lost the job to an extent. First time, so I mean. You lost the job, but gained the opportunity. Lost the job, but at the end a of the day. New, it's, look, it's a, door, a door was closed, but a, a new window was open. That, that, that door had to close for the other one to open. Exactly, man. Open. I guess but I, It's like a, I didn't even lose a job It was transferred hey. Like I lost it Got it back hey. Regardless This nigga basically lost a job Basically got, got it back one. A lot of shit happened Not a lot of shit But A lot of relationships Happened this year Would made me question myself You're like Am I the issue? Am Type I? shit Like why y'all niggas Just left unannounced 
But that's the that's you know niggas left unannounced. You don't need closure though, right? That's what I'm. That's what you said. But maybe yeah, I don't I do think you, I don't think you need closure, man. Leave that shit alone. But it's like there's certain shit that should like just why it stop though? Just why it stop? Just you know what I mean? I get what you're saying because who gives a fuck at the end of the day? But I would like an explanation. Just why? I don't think you need closure. But if you think no, you, I need, don't think that's too much to ask for. But if you it's need, not. but if you need closure, that's on you. I just personally, don't I don't think know if it's I need it, but it's just like I said, just a lot of things that made me question myself. Like, yo, did I do something wrong? But at the end of the day, I didn't. But it's like maybe I did. I'm just trying to grow and learn and shit like that. You feel me? Hmm. Starting an internship. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Regular, regular ass year to be honest. A long year, but not nah, a quick year. When you think about it, shit goes by quick. It's going through my snap memories and shit like that. I remember shit like it was just like not too long ago. I'm like, oh, this happened like this, like in this month. What? Like, that's crazy. So I mean, I feel like I'm. When I say I'm very aware, I don't know. I don't know. But it is what it is. It is what it is, man. C'est la vie. Makes me feeling weird on New Year's. I hate New Year's. That's the worst holiday. Oh, do you? I hate it. It's just so weird. Maybe Valentine's the second worst. Mm. Damn. Wait, man. Shit. New Year. Um, one thing I will say is learn from learn from your mistakes. You know, make mistakes. You know what to look out for next time. You know. Yeah, I mean, another thing I can tell y'all: please don't be doing the same shit y'all were doing last year, unless it's something good. But you can't complain about you in the same position if you ain't do nothing different, try nothing different. Mm. The year 2022 is self-discipline. The year of self-discipline. Mm. Really? I thought it was the year of the dog. <laughs> no. It's not the year of the rat. <gasps> Chinese New Year? <laughs> Just piggybacked off my joke, but... James, James, year, year of uh, funny jokes. I'm, I'm going to call it now. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't touch me. <laughs> that was a hate crime. Unoriginal, but... That was a hate crime just now. All right. That was a hate crime. Arrest me. Hate to see it. What are we leaving the people with? Do we wrapping it up? Damn. That, how long has it been? An hour. hour. Three three hours? No. Gosh. Imagine. Gosh. Except, man, this is the last episode. We gotta get everything out. Like niggas is I'm not gonna go next don't, year. Don't leave like, nothing on the yeah, Don't year. leave like, nothing like, on the oh, So what's up? What's your Get your NFTs, man. I've been tapping in this week. You feel me? I've been on open C. Make sure you get your NFTs right now. I'm not. I'm stop. I'm gonna stop telling y'all because y'all should been know about it. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna stop get y- y'all, get y'all money up, up not y'all funny up. Get y'all crypto coins up. All right. Stop playing. All that money shit, that paper money shit, is dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's, it's, dead. Dead. <laughs> it's that shit is K. All right. That shit is DOA. All right. With that being said, though, right? If you got gold, you got silver. You feel me? You got gold bricks, silver bricks. That you know what I mean. That that might be that might be valid. You know what I mean? But you got paper dollars, bro. Nobody give a fuck about that. Nobody care. Get Nobody. some art. Get some art. Get some like, NFTs. No, like real art. You know what I mean? Get, get, I, own the Pablo Picasso. Van Gogh. Go go Just go earn go art. find yourself a Bob Ross original. If you find yourself a Bob Ross original, I will give you bread for that. You know, I've been watching that every time to go to sleep now. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. That guy, yeah, because there's one time I was just like, I want to watch something, but everything I tend to watch, I like I have to go back to care about. Hmm. But like Bob Ross, I can just watch in pain. I'm thinking about it. Damn, asleep. it's been a fucking crazy year thinking about it now. That's what I'm saying. This, this, been is, a, this is a long year. It's been like, a crazy year. The amount of guests we had up on here. Yeah, that for shout, out, you know, shout, shout out to the guests. Bro, shout out to all the guests, guests. We, we had, had on the episodes, guests. bro. Mad guests on the episodes. Mad guests. J Lies, uh, Beans, Lloyd, Lloyd Jayla, Godwin, Godwin, Jamil, Gerard. Damn, beans. My. You said beans. Yeah, yeah. Beans. it's mad as we had on the, the podcast, man. Different locations with it. You know what I mean? Jay, shout out Jay from DW. You know what I mean? We done shout so much DW things. Dog, stop your saying. rewards card shit. You know what I mean? Still yeah. get yours today. You feel me? Like it's just so much shit. That's damn, damn, y'all. We've come so far. I, I'm happy to say that we we've, we've grown. Um, we're on Spotify, Apple Music Podcast, um, YouTube, YouTube well, now, well, YouTube, um, yeah. consistently now. You know what I mean? So it's just so much shit that it's like, damn, look how far we've come, but we've got so so far still to go, right? There's always next year to keep progressing, right? Exactly. So much great movies, so much I great shows, so much great music, so much great shit, man. So much great, so many great people. So many great people. People come and go. Oh, my dad was a guest too. Oh shit! It pops. <laughs> you know what I mean? God, I mean Life is something. Daddy, you should have watched that when you were in New York. 
Life's funny, man. That's true. T, shout out T Rex. She was a guest. Shout out the nigga Israel. That nigga was a guest. Oh shit. We said Lloyd, right? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out the nigga Lloyd and shit. Oh shit. Nigga Lloyd and shit. <laughs> oh shit. More guests to come. Word. Oh shit. It's crazy. It's not next year yet, though. Next time y'all see us, we're gonna be in the new year. You feel me? So with that being <laughs> said, um Damn, we didn't are we gonna do the FLC nominations? Like Are we reading out our nominations now? Or we're just gonna just do that shit. I was gonna do it next week. Oh, no, next I week. mean, cause look, technically now it'll be New Year, so the awards for last year, right? That's a good. Way that's to how do. all award shows. Yeah, are. That's how good. Way to, that's how good way to do it, right? That's how all so, award shows okay, are. All award shows. So F F L C awards, we have not forgot. Um, Tomorrow, names, we'll listings, <laughs> um, <laughs> everything will be broadcast and or displayed to you next episode or following weeks. You come, know, come and dress, come with your wine, come with your bottles, whatever Word. you gotta do. You know, come what I mean? real elegant, come real elegant and shit. We're tight, tight. There's come with a good attitude, peace of mind, and an open, open mindset. Anything else I want to leave for the year end on the pod? Thank y'all. Just a big thank y'all. Every bad thank bitch in your gay best you. friend. <sighs> what? I mean, hit, hit this nigga James up. Hit up the That's feet. That's a fact. And if you're not sucking dick, I'm not fucking with you. <sighs> and if you're, <laughs> if you're a black, if you're a black man that cheats, man, go somewhere with that shit. <laughs> Ghost word that shit. There's a lot of shit that should be said. Go somewhere with that shit, then Sean. Oh, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. I, 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 I was about to say, don't check that. I want to jump to his bedroom so quick. Don't yo. check that. Um. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! You're funny as fuck. See, James, 2020 year, 22 year with the jokes, man. That's funny. That, that might be you next year. You're gonna have some funny, I'm funny jokes. Funny now. I, I, I've You're been funny, funny jokes, funny man. forever. You're gonna have some funny jokes, man. I was funny before funny was funny. Mm. Damn. So then, there must have been no comedy around then. Till I came around, it wasn't. Nigga was just boring. So this is why we're all so sad. Still, damn. A for effort. But, A for um, effort. A for Omnitron. Omicron. Um, yes, with the all. Oh, shout out Cowboy Bebop once again. These niggas still ain't watched. I still got to get my shit. This off, week but. coming soon. Not Cowboy the live Bebop. action. I, I seen the cartoon. Watch the live. You finished it? What the cartoon? Yeah, the cartoon. I three watched it. Remember, bro? Please watch the live oh, action. Oh, I, I watched. Um, you know what movie I watched? I watched the Disney, uh, Disney Pixar movie. I watched Luca. It was nice. Luca. That's yeah. it. The new one. Yeah. The one. He's half fish, right? Yeah, yeah. I watched that. You know what I mean? A feel good <laughs> movie to fall asleep on. You know what I mean? I want to watch Sing 2. It dropped. I watched Spider-Man for the second time. Did, we, did, I, did I talk about that? Because you didn't watch it. Yeah, so I watched Spider-Man twice in one week. Damn. It was nice indeed. Um, Best Marvel movie of all time? No. no. Mm. Uh, it was. You hype for the Doctor Strange movie now? You hype for that Doctor Strange movie now? Yeah. Mm. I'm hype for all of it. That Doctor Strange movie about to be the best Marvel movie of all time. I'm calling it. So far. You think so? Yeah. Got it's going to have a lot. It's going to have... So God, oh, <laughs> that Morbius gosh. movie or Morpheus, Morbius yeah. and stuff, that right? Looks, I mean, yeah, yeah. No, that shit like, You're up, no, like the only the up. only way that Morbius movie is gonna be tough if they bring Blade in there. If Blade not in that movie, I'm gonna be tight. You can't put all that shit in, bro. It gotta have a teaser. It's his first movie, it's all right, exactly. Maybe like an end credit scene, I'll, I'll, or something bro. Like that. That, if, it, if it has a teaser of Blade, but he's I'll, a Spider Man villain. Oh, Spider Man and Blade team up. Oh, no, like just Morbius fights Blade though, nigga. He's Blaze a daywalker that hunts. That come on, bro. Blade is. We get it, Sean. That's we tough. Get it. Just just the way it looks, the Morbius just looks yeah. tough. Like the way it looks, the animation and shit. We out. That's next month. Yeah, January. I might see that shit twice too. Twice That's the next Marvel movie. movie. Yeah, bro. I could have swore it was not until May for Doctor Strange. It's not until May till Doctor Strange, Strange, but, but we're getting Morbius in January. January. Oh, yeah. So. Morbius and what else? I think I that's know. then. Then it's then it's Doctor Strange in May. Damn. Yeah. I thought that's. I thought there's something in March. We still got yeah TV shows and shit. Yeah, there's still match shows and shit. I think Thor comes out. Um, Thor. Love and Thunder. Yeah. Really? Oh shit! So Marvel is so crazy, bro. Oh, niggas did finish Hawkeye too. There's so much shit I gotta watch. Tap in. Did you like it? Yeah, I, I'm I watching like What If right now yeah. too. I gotta say that. Yeah. Can't wait for All Loki. Right. Oh, um, March, um, season three of fucking Atlanta. Atlanta yeah. Oh. Uh, February, February is um Snowfall. Oh. So is, is some yeah. shit gonna be coming oh out? God. Yeah, it's it shit coming out. Yo. Content coming soon. Media's out here. Wait, are they releasing season three and four? Like nah, a, it's just three. three. But they're recording three and four, so it's like yeah. Four, so four be done. I, I don't want to wait a whole another year for four. Is Dave done? Like completely done? Season three? Season two? There he is. I don't know. I, I haven't. Is season seen, three coming? 
I haven't seen anything saying like, oh, that's that renewed. Wait, 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 wait. Season two is done though. They're I didn't see season two. I'm saying like, two. is there a season three? Oh, they definitely have to have a season three. What? How? The way it ended, it seemed like chill. Dave, that's, yo, yo, finish, finish. But, Come on. But it's not. It's not like. It's not like Dave can't be a real person. Yeah, that's, though, I, yeah, you know what I mean? mean? So like, they can still run with it as in like. Yeah, it's still life shit going on. Yeah. Shit. Mm. Great, they they made a bag off it, so it's like, why not? Yeah, why not? They like milking everything else. I keep forgetting Kevin Hart's producer for that. Yeah. Hmm. With that being said, y'all, shit. Thank y'all once again. There's been so much shit that happened. So many experiences, life Thank lessons. Thank y'all for sticking moments. with us and rocking with us. We're rocking with us. I hope I have nothing else to say. I really hope I don't. I don't know. Just, I just say thank you again, man. Just thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank appreciate, you. appreciate y'all tapping in, even though a nigga was gone. You know what I mean? Holding it down. Appreciate y'all holding it down. Of course, of course. You know what I mean? <sighs> Damn. So that means like, so, so y'all held it down when I was gone. We held it down when Sean was gone. So like, you're the next to like take a break from the pod. <laughs> What's the, the, oh what's shit! The, feet love. Oh shit! The universe is crazy. What's what's the break I'm gonna have? Oh, I don't know, nigga. Shit. You just get tired of us. Like y'all don't fuck with y'all right now. Nah, like that would never be the fact. That would never be the case. I mean, you know, like mental health. Like, y'all don't want to court y'all niggas for mental shit. Mental health week. Like, not even. What would it be? Maybe, you don't, want, maybe it probably couldn't be like vacation or something. Like, yeah, I, I mean, vacation you, well, let's not manifest nothing. You know what I mean? Let's not speak nothing into existence. I'm what I can't go on vacation shit. Like you know, you like leave it type shit. That's what know? I'm saying. Yeah, uh, I want a vacation shit. I don't know. We'll see. I would like to see that though. Oh, a vacation? No, like y'all two niggas chop it up and shit. Uh, oh shit! You know, fucking next episode, you're not even valid. You're not valid at your own crib, bro. Just stay in your yeah, room. Bro. You're not valid. Yeah, but you can watch in the corner, I guess. That's so right, you can be. Like, oh, we can have a cameraman actually. Oh shit! What's the point of that? Y'all niggas are saying I'm supposed. To- you could you could just be like, you're Freddy. Oh, I mean, you could, you could talk too. They can hear you. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's the point of that? That's weird. Yo, no. yo, 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 you said you would love to see it, but then when we that's actually... what I'm I would love to see it. Like me actually not being there. Like y'all get the camera. I just why would I? What's the point of me sitting there? I'm. A, it's like it's like I'm still there just watching y'all live live audience. Nah, bro. you could be our first live guest. No, live audience guest. Have you ever go live with a podcast? We 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 uh book out uh Sherman Theater. I, I I seen uh I seen remember um DJ Quick, remember DJ Quick? DJ Durrell. Nah um, he was in he was in DW and he gave us his, his oh, card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen him the other day at DW again and then mm. it comes to me like it made me think like we could still do that 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 shit in the basement. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's a big fact. That's, we could still do that. I mean, like he said he got like a man cave. Type yeah. So I'm saying we gotta tap in though. It's like it's, it's so many possibilities that we could do with this shit. You know? So it's like should we have a guest on the DJ Quick episode? Or would he be the guest? I kind of want to have Jay as a guest. Like, yeah, we did at his apartment. I mean, at his the restaurant. Mm-hmm. But I kind of wanted to have him like, like sit down next like, to yeah. his Shout out Jay, man. That nigga. Yeah. Fucking yeah. have him come back. Have him actually be an official man. guest. There's a few you. niggas that gotta come back. Israel gotta come back. Godwin gotta come back. Like those two for a fact. <sighs> Shout out Godwin too. Twenty twenty two. So much potential. Scary. Fly Freeman. Say shout out um Black Basement too. Gotta tap in. Gotta tap in. Damn. It's been a, it's been a doing this shit for a minute. It's been a crazy year, man. It might be two years. Shit, thinking about it, my head hurts. Yeah. A word, it's been 21 months. Mm, joking. So many great I'm shows we've seen. Here. Squid Games, you know what I mean? So many oh, trends. A bunch of shit and shit. Damn. Only, only imagine what 2022 can hear or can, can come can in hold, and just give hold. us. Can, can hold. You know? Same shit. So if you're watching this right now and it's it's what? Year if you're watching this and it's like 2081, you know. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. If you're watching this from if like civilization is still a thing, come find us, come fuck with us. Send well, us yeah, if you're watching this from the future, it's like 2025, 2030. You know what I mean? Like, and we we're still probably gonna be doing this shit. We should be elevated. Word. At that point, we should not be in the base. Well, maybe we'll keep it in the thousand basement. episode type shit, man. Oh shit. Road to 100 for YouTube. 100 yeah, subscribers say, before 100 episodes, please. Episode, episode tell a friend, tell a friend, yes. Some confidence and shit. <laughs> episode 100 coming soon, you feel me? 100 subscribers before 100 episodes. So, so, so with that it. being said, with that being said, though, if you're watching this in the future, we don't even have 100 subscribers yet. That's yeah. and, we, we, and look how look at the repertoire, the catalog, crazy. We literally, literally, the content is nuts. The content is nuts. <laughs> tell tell me, tell me, what should I leave the people with though? Leave them with something. Leave them with something. This 2020. Well, I thought we were. That's what we. Oh, we leave leave them with all this information. Well, before I thought that's where um, we left it. Like, that's how we were leaving the niggas with the year. Like, that's how we ended Oh, uh, review. Bigger and better things next year. Tight. 
What am I being? What is the lesson that I really learned? Like that I really want to leave y'all with. You don't need a relationship. Learn how to be happy on your own before you go looking for uh, make somebody else happy. There you go. Like learn self love and like what you really want. Shit. Self sustainability yeah. in a sense. Whatever. Just self. Whatever. Just complete everything. Self. You know what I mean? Just love yourself first in all aspects before you go fuck around. You can fuck around somebody's life. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Time waits for no man. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your moments. Be happy. Don't stress. Don't take shit, life man. for granted. Don't take life for granted. Tell your family you love them. Mm. And don't overthink, man. You spend so much time overthinking about shit that doesn't even matter. Go make something that actually matters. Oh, shit. With that being said, though, oh, onto onto bigger, okay, better, okay, okay. onto bigger, better things. Yeah, yeah. Thank God for watching. Yeah, it's, uh, eighty-five episodes in the Feel Love Chocolate yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. Last uh, one of twenty twenty-one. See y'all next year. Appreciate y'all okay. listening, watching, and tuning in. Um, do me a favor, go run to the fridge with your feet and eat that Frank. <laughs> Grab some truffles or some Hershey kisses. You know what I mean? And enjoy it with all your heart. Until next time. Until next year. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in to the Feel Love and Chocolate Podcast. The last time puts out the door. Love is still in the air with you. And chocolate is back in the wrapper with it back in the fridge until next year. <laughs> <laughs> in case we don't see, though. Good afternoon. Good, afternoon, good evening, evening. Good night. Good night. And good morning. And happy new year. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs>